Now, the First Lady Olurami Tinubu has received Rebecca Cabell, one of the 277 Chibok schoolgirls who were abducted by Boko Haram in 2014. Tinubu, who received Rebecca, along with the wife of the Vice President Nana Shatima at the Presidential Villa Abuja, promised to ensure that Rebecca is well taken care of off medically and fit to return to school willingly. While assuring that the remaining girls in captivity are not forgotten, she appreciated the office of the National Security Advisor, National Intelligence Agency, and all the security agencies and those who were involved in Rebecca's rescue. Pray and continue to pray that um, all our children that are left, they can come back home. And we are also expecting them. We are waiting in earnest that they will return. And uh, we pray that, you know, uh, all of them that, you know, they might be watching that we have not given up, you know, for them returning. You know, we can only wish her well that when she goes home to her parents, that I know they will be so glad, no matter how. And maybe from, you know, being reunited with her parents, she too will begin to, to, to remember because it's very, very important for her to remember who she, 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 she is. Elia Rail Admiral Yamenu Musa retired. The coordinator of the Counter Terrorism Center, Office of the NSA, said Rebecca kidnapped at age 13 in 2014 and now 22 years old was rescued by the government security agencies on July 17. Your Excellency Rebecca has been found to be in good health and is psychologically stable. <coughs> the next step is to hand over her to the Bono State Governor for overall reunification with her family, currently living in Uzalam Village in Chibok, local government area of Bono State. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.